Yada also lost her only son to a degenerative disease called muscular dystrophy. Now she has dedicated her life to taking care of other patients of this incurable disease. She says she is simply fulfilling her son's last wishes. She is a real hero. It's a prayer that Sujata carries with her through the day, day after day. She lost her only son Venkatesh to degenerative muscular dystrophy in 2005. Since then, supporting others who suffer from this disorder is her mission. Well, because it's obtaining for them, they are very high intelligent. You can go there, no doubt. Then, for example, for example, my son. Venkatesh, once a brilliant chess player, could barely move his hands in his last days. That's when he convinced Sujata to appeal for euthanasia for him in the Hyderabad High Court. Venkatesh wanted to donate his organs while there was still time. But even as his application was being heard, Venkatesh passed away. So, I ideas <laughs> After she lost her son, Sujata set up the Venkatesh Muscular Dystrophy Foundation in 2005. She rented a large house and took care of the patients herself, from cooking to cleaning to nursing them. But she failed to find financial support. So, I have a customer on the funds available for the rent. Sujata was unable to pay the rent for the house. Leave alone food and medication, she had no option but to let go of the 25 patients she was looking after. But she hasn't given up. She visits her patients at their homes every day. She chats with them, telling them what they can achieve despite this handicap. Her counselling has given 16-year-old Bhardavaj the confidence that he can move around, speak and continue the learning process. But Sujata wants to be able to do more. He's not happy now. I'm not fulfilling his ideas, sir. That's it. Sujata has definitely fulfilled the wish of 30-year-old Venkatesh. Suffering from a debilitating muscular dystrophy for over 15 years, he's now bedridden. With Sujata's continuous encouragement, he now tracks the share market. In fact, he's even developed a software to help investors. <laughs> Sujata has identified nearly 600 people suffering from muscular dystrophy in Andhra Pradesh and she will not rest till she has kept her promise to her son.